couple of days, it is finally the day that the front end of this is going to get its um, uh, thing, cover, big bit of metal welded in the front. So the bed's all finished, I'm not going to do any more to the bed. Uh, the interior I've already, um, with one of those strip and clean discs, I've already got rid of all the paint and all the rest of it, I say all, most. Uh, set stuff on fire and done some scraping and all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I've just spent an hour or two grinding everything as flat and as level as I can and taking the paint off inside and out. And we're all ready to uh, start fitting the big sheet to the front. So, yeah. What has also happened is this. I've uh, welded the other wing off. But annoyingly, after I welded it on, I discovered this hole and this entire edge is made of filler. So that's a bit annoying, because uh, it was the wrong shape once I've welded it on, and I wondered what was going on. And I had a poke about, and there's filler and all sorts. I've also welded up the petrol cap hole, repaired this bit where the bar for the base of the boot would normally go. But yeah, we're all, we're all there, uh, pretty much ready to put that front bit on. And for the first time, at least since I've owned the car, I say car, um, everything is equal one side to the other, so there's wings on, it's all nicely ground down, everything's been welded on to do with the doors, so this is a big, big day and a big sort of bit of progress. Now all I've got to do is make that sheet of metal the same shape as the front of the uh, little trailer, so that's going to be fun. Now then, you may be thinking, how's he going to do that? Because that's a big old heavy sheet of metal, and it is heavy. It's only, I think it's 1.6 mil thick, but it's, uh, it is hefty. Uh, what I'm going to do, I hope it'll take the weight, is I'm going to lift it up a bit, and then I'm going to drill four, six, eight, forty-three self-tapping screws straight through the metal into these bits of uh, box section. So that will hold it in place, then I'm going to draw around it, around the edge, on the outside, doo -doo 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 -doo, unscrew it, cut it out perfectly, screw it back on, weld it in, and it will all be fine, won't it? We've got one in, which was a performance, now uh, how do I do the others? Because uh, I can't see where to drill. to be holding. Ta -da. Oh, 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 oh. Where's that going? Oh, oh, hey. Let's go for an exploratory dig, shall we? So, this one I just drilled is hitting gold. But it's hitting one of the upright supports for the bed, which is too far away. I need to drill about an inch lower down and it'll go straight into the box section I want. So the science of maths, if I measure 25 inches from there, 
it should be. Where are the holes? Yeah. Hope you like Swiss cheese. We're going to go fishing. Looks like we're in, lads. So, we got one, two, three, four, five done. Gonna put one more down there somewhere, and then uh, I reckon that should be enough. It's nice and tall around the edge, and the size is not too bad, but yeah, that'll do. Wow, would you look at that. So that's all held in nice and proper, as tight as it's going to be. It's got six self tappers. One, two, three, four, four, five, six. And I've been all the way around the outside. Oh, you're not going there. I've been all the way around the outside doing a bit of uh, crime scene investigation and. Uh, Marking out where the body uh, body once was. Um, and I've done it underneath as well, obviously. Uh, so yeah, it's ready to come off and be cut out. And then hopefully, once I've cut that outline out, put it back on there with those six south tappers, and not only should it be in exactly the same place as it was when I marked it out, he says, stepping backwards into a sheet of metal, it will also hold it nice and tight against the trailer you mind? Um, so that when I'm welding, it's as tight as it can be already. So here's something mildly interesting. It's the outline of a Morris Miner's profile on a sheet of steel. It's uh, quite impressive. Now it's time to uh, cut that out of there. Probably a bit small, isn't it? Looks like some sort of evil cat, doesn't it? But there we go. We have cut all the way around and hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully it'll just lift out in one. <laughs> hmm.
so there we have it there is our identical bit of metal it's uh, the profile of Morris Minor and I've helpfully cut it into the concrete floor as well but uh, yeah I don't know how well you can see that because of the sun but hooray not as stupid as I am idiot looking look at that Need a tiny bit of uh, massaging here and there, but yeah. So what I'm going to do, while those six handy surf tappers are holding it in place, I'm going to tack weld it in a few places inside, um, and then just go around it all the way, weld it how it is, and then once it's welded in, I'm going to weld as much as I can from inside, so there's no join on the outside. I'll go around as an angle grinder, just around the edges, and uh, yeah, it'll look pretty good. Thanks, genius. Well, uh, Despite the fact that several days have passed and all the rest of it, and it's it's raining outside, um, I thought I'd just do a little end to this video. So the front panel entirely welded on, and I've sort of roughly gone round it with an angle grinder, and it's not the worst job in the world. So the front panel's in. I've filled up the holes. What I did. What oh, this is that? Oh dear. I'll have to deal with that. Um, I welded it, seam welded it from inside and then went round the edge more as a filler rather than sort of structural weld. And I've been along the bottom as well, but I haven't ground along the bottom because grinder and paint makes me the welder I ain't, so don't look at that too hard. I still need to weld around here, but then we just need to put a big bit of box section here for the uh, the kayak uh, and the um, tow and I, Majiga, and then we can paint under here, and then we can put the back axle on, and flip it on its wheels, and it's it's on its wheels ready for the whole body to be painted. Isn't that fun? So, uh, hope you join me for that. And um, I don't think that's meant to be on fire. Really? Probably not.